Hey, you know, Curly, there's one thing that bothers me. What's that, Ellie? Well, you're an actor and a singer, and you got a radio show, and you do television guest spots, and you play the drums, and you play golf, and how do you do all those things? Magnificently. RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in recorded music, and first in television, presents the Bill Harris Alice Bay Show. <laughs> Here is the Phil Harris Alice Faye Show, transcribed, written by Ed James and Phil Shukin, with Elliot Lewis, Walter Tetley, John Hubbard, Janine Roos, Anne Whitfield, Walter Scharf and his music, and yours truly, Phil Foreman. The title of tonight's little doozy is How Long Will the Genius of Lovable, Laughable Phil Harris Go Undiscovered or From Here to Eternity? <laughs> First, here's a word from RCA Victor. Wherever you are, on land, on sea, or in the air, you can eavesdrop on the world with RCA Victor's new seven-band portable radio, the Strata World. This new RCA Victor is powered to play anywhere, even in difficult areas. And to make sure you get the best reception possible, the new Strata World portable has three antennas. One for normal reception, a special plane window antenna, and a push-button shortwave antenna. Just think of it. Foreign stations like those in Tokyo, London, and Buenos Aires are electronically spaced on the dial of this handsome strata world. You can tune them in like local radio stations. And this dependable new RCA Victor strata world, beautifully finished in top grain cowhide, operates on batteries, or it's possible to plug it into any electrical outlet the world over. No wonder the strata world portable, so wonderfully light, weighing only 23 pounds, is already standard equipment for seasoned diplomats and world travelers. Be sure to see and hear the new seven-band Strata World by RCA Victor, world leader in radio. And now the stars of the RCA Victor program, Alice Fay and Phil Harris. <laughs> There's an old saying that every worm will turn, but Phil Harris is one worm who hasn't quite made it. <laughs> Today, however, promises to be different. RCA, please drop a line. My show is fine and I'm divine. I'd be gorgeous on TV. Yes, I love me. La-da-dee-ba-ba-ba. <laughs> Is that you? No, it's Art Linkletter smelling like sunshine. <laughs> sure, it's me. Who'd you think it was? Oh, what's the matter, Phil? Are you upset about something? Upset? Me? <laughs> Why should I be upset? I never get upset. I got nerves of iron, nerves of steel. Well, something must be wrong. Do you know what you're drinking? Water. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, how do you like that? Now they'll take away my good merit badge. <laughs> Say, honey, you'd better get in a good mood. You know, I invited Mr. McDevitt to dinner. Now you've done it. Now you've done it. Now you spoil my whole day. Why, Phil... Mr. McDevitt, there's a fine character for you. Now look, honey, when Mr. McDevitt was made head of the record division of RCA, you said you wanted to throw him a party. Alice, please, I don't want to talk about Mr. McDevitt. I don't want to think about Mr. McDevitt. I don't ever want to hear his name. Mr. McDevitt? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Mr. McDevitt. Talk about Indians being Indian givers. He takes it away before he even gives it to you. Oh, Phil, is that all that's worrying you? Look, he promised me a solid gold record, and I want it. But, Phil... He gave Mario Alonzo a gold record. I know. He gave Dinah Shore a gold record. Well, sure, but... And both of them together ain't half as pretty as I am. <laughs> well, Phil, you only get the award for selling a million records. I sold a million records. How about Preacher and the Bear? Well, look, honey, when Mr. McDonald... And what about... Comes, that's well... what I like about the South. That must have sold a million copies, not even counting the Yankees. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. And another one, young lady. How about the thing? <laughs> I suppose that didn't sell a million copies. 
My mother's got the roof shingled with it. Sure, sure, but the thing sold a million. Then why don't I get that gold record? I got a good mind to walk out on that RCA. That's what I got a good mind to do. Well, winter's coming on. Hi, Curly. Okay, so winter's coming on. RCA may be the best, but it ain't the only sponsor in the world. Hi, Alice. Well, name two others. Hello, Mr. Harris. I'll name a dozen. There's, uh... Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Harris. How about the company that sells soap? That has a familiar ring. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Fay. How many, uh, how many does that mean? <laughs> so far, you've got a clue. Well, I'm thinking, honey. I'm just thinking. Hello, Elliot. What are you doing here? Are you sure they sell soap, huh? Positive. Oh, I just happened to be in the neighborhood. I thought I'd drop in. <laughs> well, so long, Elliot. Drop in any old time. Well, I got news for you. RCA better watch their P's and G's. That's all I gotta say. Hi, Curly. Hi, Alice. Hello, Elliot. I made it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Elliot. What are you doing here? Oh, I just happened to be in the neighborhood and I thought I'd drop in. Oh, uh, yeah. I... Hey, um, Elliot. Yes, Curly? Is, is this the first time you've been in here? <laughs> Why do you ask, Curly? I don't know. <laughs> I just got a feeling this whole thing happened before and we're playing it back at a more convenient time. <laughs> <laughs> package, Elliot. Hmm? The package. Oh, I found it on the porch. It's from RCA. RCA? Phil, look out, you'll break it. Oh, honey, it. give me that package. Okay, Curly. A package from RCA, and he just holds it. Alice, look. At what? Have you ever seen a package that looks more like a solid gold record? Open it up. I'm afraid. You think we ought to soak it in water first? Oh. <laughs> just put it down. I'll open it. Okay, honey, but now take it easy now. Don't bruise it. Oh, it's got to be a gold record. It's got to be a gold record. It's got to be. Bill! Yeah? It's a gold record. How do you like that? Them cheap... It's what? Bill, you made it. Oh, I made it. You hear that, Elliot? I made it. I got a gold record. It's solid gold. Boy, the teeth they could fill with that thing. <laughs> Is it heavy? Oh, yeah, man. Weighs a ton. Let me hold it, huh? Elliot, get them pawn shop mitts away from me. <laughs> Can't I even touch it? Don't even breathe near it. Hey, Alice, you know what we got to do now? We're going to build a trophy room or something. No, you don't have to do that, Curly. I'll stop breathing. (laughs) I got to protect this record, Elliot. I got to get something to show it off to Mr. McDevitt. Hey, hey, I know what we can do. There's a wonderful antique store only five blocks away. Real high class. They got all kinds of things. Trophy cases, display cases. Well, gee, that's what we want. Let's get on there. Come on. Wait a minute, honey. Here's the card that came with the record. Well, let me see that. Yeah. Hey. Hey, listen to this. What? <clears throat> From RCA Victor and T. McDevitt, with sincere appreciation to a great comedian, entertainer, and vocalist. They sure hit it on the head, didn't they? <laughs> I'd say it was more of a glancing blow. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, look, Curly, you're a great guy, and I love you, but uh, great comedian? Oh, you think I ain't, huh? Let me tell you something, Hastings. I'm a million laughs, you hear me? Million of them. Let's start with one. Okay. <laughs> you want one, huh? This will fracture you. You know what I mean? I got a melancholy girl. She's got a shape like a melon and a face like a collie. <laughs> That's pretty good just for a throw, ain't it? A fast job. It's like... What do you want to try for now, entertainer or vocalist? Elliot, let's get down to that antique shop, will you? Curly, entertainer or vocalist? What are you kidding? Entertainer. Just listen to this. Sure. How slow me thinks this old moon wanes. It lingers my desire. Come, fair Apollo, our nuptious hour is near. Well, that leaves vocalist. (laughs) Okay, I'm going to sing, and then we're going down to that antique shop. You know something? I got a feeling this is going to be the luckiest day of my life. They call you Lady Luck. But there is room for doubt. At times you have a very unladylike way of running out. You're on a date with me. The pickings have been lush. And yet before this evening is over, you might give me the brush. You might forget your manners. You might refuse to stay. And so the best that I can do is pray. Luck be a lady tonight. Luck be a lady tonight. Luck 
if you've ever been a lady to begin with, rock, be a lady tonight. Be a lady, rock, be a lady. Rock, let a gentleman see. Let a gentleman see. How nice a dame you can be. How nice you can be. I know the way you've treated other guys you've been with. Rock, be a lady tonight. Tonight, be a lady, love. The lady doesn't leave her escort. It isn't fair, it isn't fair, it isn't nice, it isn't nice. A lady doesn't wander all over the room and blow on some other guy's dice. So let's keep the party polite. Never get out of my sight. Stick with me, baby, I'm the fella you came in with. Luck be a lady, luck be a lady, luck be a lady tonight. Whenever you're ready, we ought to go steady. Luck be a lady tonight. Luck be a lady tonight. Luck be a lady tonight. Luck if you've ever been a lady to begin with. Luck be a lady tonight. Stick with me, luck. Stick with me, lady. Luck. Let a gentleman see how nice a dame you can be. I know the way you treated other guys you've been with. Luck, be a lady with me. Lady doesn't leave her escort. It isn't fair. It isn't nice. A lady doesn't wander all over the room and blow on some other guy's dice. It isn't nice. So let's keep the party polite. Never get out of my sight. Stick with me, baby. I'm the fella you came in with. Luck be a lady. Luck be a lady. Luck be a lady. How much further is this antique shop, Elliot? The antique store is old. Half a block, a couple hundred feet. And you're sure it's a good one now, huh? Good? It's the best. Well, they just better have something special for my solid gold record, boy. That's all I got to say. Hey, Curly. You got that record for The Thing, huh? Yeah. The Thing. What a solid slab of shellac. <laughs> you, uh... Did you ever find out what the thing was? I know. What are you talking about? I know what it was. I was there, wasn't I? Look, kid. Hey, Curly. What was the thing? Elliot, you couldn't expect me to tell you a secret like that. Well, I'm your best friend. I know, but Curly, I... Curly, if I tell anybody, may I become a page-turner for Liberace? <laughs> What can I say? Oh, okay. You're my buddy, huh? You betcha. Well, let me tell you. Lean over. Yeah? Hey, you ain't gonna believe this. But the thing was a... Uh... What? It's a cool... What? What? A what? <laughs> you mean that it actually... Every time. <laughs> Well, if that ain't... <laughs> well, why didn't everybody figure it? Wait a minute, Ali. Wait a minute. Hmm? Hold it. Is this the place, the shop? Oh, yeah. Classy-looking joint, ain't it? Oh, man. You said that right. Look up there. Look at them sterling silver letters. J.C. Nickel and Sons. Mm. <laughs> and look at that platinum doorknob. Well, use it. Let's go in. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes? Mr. Nickel? Yes? Uh, I'm Phil Harris, and I want to buy a trophy case. I see. Would that be for pints, fifths, or quarts? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's for a record. Oh, barrels, casks, or vats? <laughs> 
Look, Mr. Nichols. Hey, what's this thing over here? Oh, you're an observant little rascal. That is a nail-studded contour chair for Indian fakers with weak backs. <laughs> hey, you ought to try this, Curly. Elliot, that's for Indian fakers. That's what I said. You ought to try it. <laughs> Ooh, that was a goodie. <laughs> I had a feeling this was going to be one of those days. And now, what do you want, red eyes? <laughs> I still want the same thing. You see, Mr. Nickel, I was the one who sang the thing, and... And you want some place to hide. <laughs> no, no. I want a trophy case to put my gold record in. You see... No, wait a minute, Curly. I think I got something. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> but ain't it terrific? Yeah, my dear sirs, for your information, that is a 17th century hut. The 17th century rabbits? Yeah. <laughs> Do they get that old? Man, what a family they'd have. <laughs> Why, they ain't enough carrots in the whole uh, world. Mr. Harris, when you were a boy, which seems ridiculous at the moment, <laughs> you probably referred to a hutch as a sideboard. <laughs> Oh, yeah, sure. Is that what that is? Hey, wouldn't that be great for your record, Curly? Oh, sure. Sure. What are you, nuts or something? What's the That's all I need, a 15-foot sideboard for one record. <laughs> yeah, a 15-foot $300 sideboard. Now, wait a minute, Curly, wait a minute. See this place down here? Well, that's just the right size for an RCA Victor 21-inch television set. Yeah, with magic monitor and rotomatic tuning. You had to get that in. <laughs> Look, you take care of your business, and I'll take care of mine. <laughs> Go ahead, Ellie. Yeah, then over here on this side, it's just the right size for an RCA Victor automatic changer with a golden throat speaker to match your golden voice. Shades of Christopher Wren, a 17th century jukebox. <laughs> hey, but Elliot, uh, it's so big. Hey, let's face it, it's bigger than all of it. <laughs> Wait a minute, uh... Say, Mr. Nickel, uh, uh, what's that little fence on top for? You, the things they ask. <laughs> is that little fence, Mr. Wormwood, is a plate rail. Hey, can't you see it, Curly? You can put your record on the plate rail. Then if you get more, you'll have room for them, too. Yeah. Hey, it'd hold a lot of them, wouldn't it? I could fill up that whole top with gold records. You should live so long. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, we're going to take it, huh? Elliot, I'll write out a check and you tell him where we want it sent. Okay. Oh, we don't send things. You carry them. Carry them? You mean this? No, we don't have to carry this, Curly. It's got casters. We just push. Well, I don't know, Elliot. It's five blocks well, home. sure, but it's downhill. <laughs> yeah, that ought not to be too hard, huh? No. We can push it down there. Sure. Okay, Elliot. Grab a hold. I right. get my... All right, push it over. All right, open the door. Let's go. Oh, dear. I mustn't waste a moment. Hello, Mary. This is John. Get the children off the street. Phil Harris is pushing a sideboard home. <laughs> I thought you said this was downhill. I don't understand it. When we went to the store, it was downhill. Hey, hey, Bud. Hold it, hold it a minute, Elliot. Hold yeah, it. Right. Hey, buddy, over here. Hey, you want to buy a hot? A hot what? Anything. Who cares? Hey, how about a hot lacrosse racket? You can't hardly get none of them no more. Push, Elliot. Okay. Hot three dollar bills, hot water bottles, hot Alice Fay records. Hey, how about Wait a minute, a hold it, Elliot, hold it, hold it. All right. You ain't got no Alice Fay records. Oh, I ain't, huh? Well, you just listen to this. <laughs> Keep it gay, keep it light, keep it fresh, keep it fair, let it bloom every night, give it room, give it air, 
Keep your love a lovely dream and never wake it. Make it happy and be happy as you make it. Let it sing like a nightingale and may keep it gay. Keep it free or you'll frighten it away. Take it easy and enjoy it while you take it. Keep it gay, keep it gay, keep it gay. Keep it gay, keep it light, keep it fresh, keep it fair. Let it bloom every night, give it room, give it air. Keep your love a lovely dream and never wake it. Make it happy and be happy as you make it. Let it sing like a nightingale in May. Keep it gay, keep it free, or you'll frighten it away. Take it easy and enjoy it while you take it. Keep it gay. Wait a minute, Curly. Hold it, will you? Why, that thing's heavy. Oh, come on, Elliot. You can't stop now. We're practically in my driveway. Okay. Come on, let's go. Yeah, right. Wait a minute. Hold it, Elliot. Hold it. Now, what's the matter? Well, it ain't rolling. I think that... Oh, no. Now, both of them back casters done snapped off. Well, back to the drawing board. No, now, wait. <laughs> Now, look, maybe if we pick it up... Oh, we... fine. Sure. If we carry it, then we can't see where we're going. But look, Elliot, if we... Uh-oh. What? Look who's coming. Hiya, fellas. Where you going with Grant's poem? <laughs> <laughs> Why, we're taking it to Richmond, General Lee. Right, Daniel Boone? Hmm? <laughs> oh, yeah. And we'd like to have it while the calla lilies are in blue. They finally cracked up. <laughs> the bottom. Hey, Julius, you're just in time. We need you. We need you to see for us. Crocked. <laughs> no, Julius, no, honest. Look, you see, when we carry this thing, we can't see. So will you be a good kid and steer us around to the den? Well, let me put it this way. No. <laughs> well, let me put it this way. Julius, if you don't help us, I'll break every bone in your miserable little body. Well, that's different. I'm always happy to help people if they ask me nice. <laughs> okay, then. All right, let's go, Elliot. You lift the front end up. Hey, Curl, you better take the front end. If I walk backwards, I get dizzy. In your case, how do you tell? <laughs> All right, will you stop the talk already? Look, I'll take the front end, okay, Elliot? Okay. All right, I got it. Uh, I'll walk backwards. Okay, Julius, let... Jul... Julius, where'd you go? I'm up on top, steering. <laughs> Get down off of there, you little fink. It's heavy enough without you. You want I should tell you where to go? Then look! <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, Elliot. Much. I'm marching. I'm marching. That's it, fellas. Straight ahead. You're doing fine. Yeah. That up, boy. A little to the right. Yeah. To the right! Stop pulling my ear, will you? I gotta steer you, don't I? Keep off, fellas. Now you're getting it. Yeah. Where's the swimming pool? Over to your right, a little bit more. A <laughs> little bit more to the right. Yeah. Sideboard's in the den, Elliot. We did it again. My end fits in there perfect, man. Yeah, it does, huh? My end is out. 
<laughs> what? The sideboard's bigger than the den. Now what are we going to do? Are you kidding? There's only one thing we can do. We got to enlarge the den. Hey, Curly, the den's finished. Well, then why are they still hammered? Let's put the porch back on. Oh. Hey, Curly, the porch is back on. Had a boy. But we got trouble. The den's so big, the porch is blocking the driveway. We'll tell them to build a new driveway. Phil, Phil, what's going on in here? What? The orchestra, the Klieg lights, the grandstand. Honey, Mr. McDevitt's going to be here any second. But, Phil... Alice, I can't talk. Phil, I... he's here. Mr. McDevitt's here. He is, huh? Hey, fellas, he's here. <laughs> Shall I start scattering the rose petals now, Curly? No, not yet. Wheelie gets close up. Oh, Phil, this is the silliest thing I've ever heard of. It is, of, huh? You're I... just jealous because you never got a solid gold record. Well, Harris, what's the occasion? What's the celebration for? Welcome, Mr. McDevitt. Welcome to the official opening of the Phil Harris Trophy Room. Why, this is ridiculous, Mr. Harris. Making all this fuss over a little nipper riddle album. Over a... Wait a minute. Hold everything. Stop it. Stop it. Stop the music. You sent me a little nipper riddle album again? Naturally. We listen to your show. Again. <laughs> What about the record? I got a solid gold record. So that's what happened to it. Well, you send it right over to H.O. Pinza, where it belongs. Oh, no. <laughs> Alice and Phil will be back in just a moment. And now here's news of a great anniversary special offered by RCA Estate Ranges. Your chance to make the range buy of a lifetime. Of course, you know about the RCA Estate Range, magnificent new member of the great RCA family. Here's the wonderful new range that grills, bakes, and barbecues all at once. The range that cooks automatically, that actually turns on when you're out and turns off when dinner's ready. Only RCA Estate Gas and Electric Ranges bring you such superb features as the barbecuer meat oven for charcoal done flavor, the hideaway grid all for top of range grilling, and the big roomy balanced heat bake oven. Here's America's finest range built for years of dependable service, and it bears the great name of RCA. And now for a limited time, RCA Estate offers you big savings on two anniversary special models. See your RCA dealer and learn the details now. This is Phil again. We're a little late, folks. Thanks and good night. Good night, everybody. Included in this program transcribed were Frank Nelson, Herb Butterfield, and Herb Bygram. The part of Julius was played by Walter Tetley. This has been an NBC Radio Network production. Whatever make portable radio you own, be sure it's equipped with RCA batteries. Batteries that are radio engineered for extra listening hours. RCA's new Balanced Life batteries make it possible for new style, personal size portable radios to play up to ten times longer without battery change than previous small portables. If your portable batteries are weak or old, see your local radio service man for fresh, long-life RCA batteries. <laughs> Engineers, does your present job give you all RCA's career advantages? RCA needs experienced engineers with bachelor or advanced degrees for development, design, and manufacturing of electron tubes and specialized electronic equipment. Write RCA Engineering, Box 345, New York 19, New York. Tomorrow, hear Theater Royal at a new time on the NBC radio network.